everyone, Marion here. I'm back to you with a new video and this one is going to be a Jewish mom advice. For any of you who are becoming a mom for the first time or as a mom of little ones, these are my um, best advice for you on leading a Jewish life and being, being a Jewish mom. So if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Let's get into it. Number one. Do something special for Shabbat. Make it a special day. Not a rabbi speaking. You don't have to have candles, challah, and wine every Friday night or even a family dinner if that's too hard. But you can make the day special in other, day, in other ways. What I like to do is play Shabbat music in the car, read a Shabbat story at bedtime or throughout the day, and have something special with dinner. Usually we try to do the candles, um, challah, and wine. But if we don't get to it, maybe a special dessert or just talk about that it is Shabbat, say Shabbat Shalom to each other when we come home at the end of the day and maybe have some flowers on the table or a special dessert, something to signify that that night is different from the rest of the week. Number two, I say the Shema with my son before bed every night. It's our last bedtime ritual before I put him down in the crib to sleep. And I love that it's something special that we have together. We sing the Shema, I give him a kiss, and that's good night. And I love that that's the last thing he hears from me before he goes to bed. Number three, don't pre-worry. I think <laughs> this is probably relatable to all moms out there, but it's a cliche that Jewish moms worry and I've found it to be true. So my advice is don't pre-worry. Don't worry until you have something to worry about. I find myself pre-worrying all the time about different things that could go wrong, especially um, when my son was really small. That I constantly took up uh, my mind and my time. So my best advice about worry is wait until there's something that you have to worry about. Don't do it in advance. Number four, I mentioned this as part of Shabbat, but play Jewish music in the car. This is a really easy way to bring Jewish life into your home. Whether it's little Hebrew words or phrases or melodies, it's a nice way to just bring some Jewish life into your daily routine. And there's so many beautiful songs and CDs out there. I'll definitely mention some below that I love, that my son also loves. They're great for kids and they're really nice to listen to as well. Number five. Bend the rules for family because family comes first. There's a lot of rules when you're raising a baby. Bedtime, what they eat, what they do, what they wear, etc. I think very important Jewish value is family. And part of the way that I show my son that family comes first is by bending the rules a little bit with family. When family's in town or we're visiting family, we stay up later, we eat things we probably shouldn't eat, and we just try to spend as much quality time together. So I think that imparting those values early on is really important. And the way that I teach them that I value family is I put family before myself and before my rules. So there you have it. Those are my top advice for being a Jewish mom or just being a mom in general. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any mom advice for me, please let me know. I'd love to hear it. Thank you for watching. Bye!